Takes him down with brute force there. When Braun Strowman is out here, forget about reinforcing the ring. I hope someone contacted the local building department to reinforce this arena. And given the odds here, I suspect this one will be quick oh, man. and not so painless. The monster among men doesn't ask for permission Ouch. nor ask for forgiveness. He simply destroys whatever lays in his path. Braun Strowman is a leviathan, Saxton. And sports entertainment has never experienced brute force like this from one human being. Throughout Cesaro's WWE career, the Swiss Superman has shown that he can do anything in that ring. Cesaro can overpower anyone. The King of Swing is just that good. Right on the bridge of the nose. Byron, you mentioned it a few moments ago, and I have to say that Cesaro's incredible strength and athleticism endeared him to the WWE Universe. It's how the Swiss Superman's fans became known as the Cesaro section. Cesaro can do things in that ring that other human beings can only dream of. Heck, Cesaro can do things in that ring that human beings shouldn't be able to do, period. He tossed him like a sack of potatoes. Using his knee now. Cesaro definitely tiring out there. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. It's going to be hard for him to win this handicap match if he doesn't somehow find a way to fend off some of this punishment he's taking. Man, this is as one-sided an affair as you will ever see. If he goes on to lose this match, you have to expect it'll set him back quite a bit. A sickening thud as he lands hard. Big knee, and right between the shoulder blades. And Braun Strowman's definitely doing what he can to get the psychological edge. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giant's opponents could be in the ring at the same time, where one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. Uh-oh. Look at him. He's just so dominant. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. No, there's the reversal. And look at hung up by the second. Get in there, ref. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and never end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care. He's going for the pin. Kick out. 
at it, two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was... Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. Completely establishing control. Game, set, match, this one is over. And he somehow fights his way free. Lucky for him, that looked devastating. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost... What? Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. Wow, what's it going to take? And the Cesaro section can't be far behind. He's inflicting some serious pain here. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. That is a huge opportunity for Cesaro. Correa, he's got it, he's got it! He's gonna tap! Wow, what a gritty performance. Now Cesaro needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Look out, he breaks free. Great job by him there, but he's still in a tough spot, Cole. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and never end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business. Rather, it might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. The neutralizer certainly puts Cesaro's opponents in their place. Plays down on the canvas. When Cesaro gets an opponent in that position, there is no escape. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. Cesaro's neutralizer was created by the legendary competitor Carl Gotch, who was one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions in the 1970s. Cesaro's interpretation of the maneuver is just awesome. The neutralizer is just another way for Cesaro to exhibit his superhuman strength. When the Swiss Superman lifts you up for that move, you're staying down for good. Oh, I need a hands. That's gonna hurt. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Sheamus looking for something big. Of course, we all recognize Braun Strowman as a legitimate main eventer, but remember, guys, it wasn't that long ago that he was considered. Oh, three massive Irish curse backbreakers. This one's over, guys. He's playing with him now. Shame, Sheamus, that's got to be it. That should do it. And Sheamus, he's got the shoulders down. True testament to grit. Only a monster would kick out there. He goes for the cover. And he kicks out. Only a monster would kick out there. Oh boy, he is rolling. Quick cover from Sheamus. A kick out, and he almost had him. Not yet. That's how you wear down your opponent. Just stretching and stretching. Shoulders on the back. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Wow. Mm. 
I don't know how these superstars are doing it right now. They've got to be exhausted. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Kick to the gut. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me. Especially given how intense the match has been. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. And Sheamus reverses it. Not surprisingly, this handicap match is playing out exactly how I thought it would. And now he goes for it a second time. Oh boy, he is rolling. Perfectly executed. I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. He can end it here. He's got him. Digging deep for a kick out. What a match. Delivering the knee. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Boom! Running STO. Nicely done. How does he keep doing this? Only a monster would kick out there. And Sheamus slips out of harm's way. Sheamus looking for something big. High cross from Sheamus. This one is over. Things just went from bad to worse for Braun Strowman. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. Sheamus with the cover. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? He's got some more fight in him, guys. Got him with the elbow drop. Look at Cesaro stalking him. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, that did not look good for Cesaro. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Braun Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. Well, I think a lot of people saw this handicap mask going a lot differently, myself included. And set him up. Who may have discovered his favorite move? It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Yeah, even now, Strowman has the strength and will to power out. What a headbutt. Vicious. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. Braun Strowman is getting ready here. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. Now it's time to capitalize. That is exactly what Braun Strowman needed. And here's the monster along mid. Corey, look at the power. Hellacious power slam. Guys, let's go to the replay. Yeah, I definitely need to see that again. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. And a pin attempt. One, two, and a kick out at two. It's going to take more than that. He's 
fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Well, he's tapped into a power source I wasn't sure he had. See if he can keep it going. And it's fired by Sheamus. Good grief. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? This is Sheamus' match now. Cesaro. Terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. And guys, we're seeing Sheamus in a tough situation. And things look bad for the Celtic Warrior right now. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. I'm not sure he has much left. Well, on the plus side, he's not the only one in that ring struggling for air right now. At this point, you think he'd have that move well scouted. Gosh, this is like that old battery commercial. This move just keeps going and going and going and going. Cesaro showing his prowess. He got body on body there, but that's about it. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. <laughs> Unleashing it for the second time now. No telling where or when this will end. Other than myself, I don't think too many people saw this handicap match going this long. How are these superstars even still going, guys? I mean, he's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. That's a great example of teamwork right there. If Sheamus hits this, this one's over. Sheamus, look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Sheamus can't waste any time here. Things just went from bad to worse for Braun Strowman. Things are not looking very cover here. One, two, and he's able to get the shoulder up. Yeah, even now, Strowman has the strength and will to power out. Twice as nice. Oh boy, he is warm. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He's in a bad way now. Here goes Braun Strowman. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. Oh boy, he is rolling. The monster among men picks his opponent up. And set him up clearly employing a heavy dose of knees here. He's going for the pin, this could be it. And he manages to get the shoulder up. As a former strongman, I'd expect nothing less from Braun. Goes down hard. Sheamus looking for something big. A high cross. That's what he was looking for, Michael. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Will it be? One, two, 
And he got a near fall out of it. What a kick out. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Takes him down in a major way, too. God, oh, that was a vicious shot. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. A quick reversal by Sheamus. Looking for something big. Unleashing it for the second time now. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Leaving himself open here. Now, nah, guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. Oh. side slam. Strowman is feeling it right here. And Sheamus slips out of harm's way. Sheamus over and over and over. We're seeing the same move being used. He's got him covered. One, two, oh, somehow. Yeah, even now, Strowman has the strength and will to power out. His shoulders are down. And he kicks out. Close call. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extends your elbow. No telling where or when this will end. Cesaro is in position. And there it is again. What a comeback. There's almost no rebounding from a strike like that. Two. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? Wow. I thought for sure that was it. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this has been incredible. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. And Braun Strowman's definitely doing what he can to get the psychological edge. Strowman. This is not going to be good at all. Oh, my gosh, from what heights. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. I think that slam caught us all off guard. And here's the monster along then. Corey, look at the power. Oh, hellacious power slam. Got him good there. Yeah, let's take another look. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. He's got the shoulders down. One, two, three. Braun Strowman wins. Braun Strowman wins. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here is your winner, Ron Strowman. Thankfully, this handicap match is now over. Anytime you can pick up a win inside a WWE ring, you have something to be extremely proud of. What an incredible journey it has been to get to this WrestleMania moment. Absolutely amazing.